Hey, Popcorn K Crew. Guess what we are going to read today? We're going to read a story called Grumpy Monkey by Suzanne Lane and Max Lane. This story is hilarious, you guys. You're going to love this story. Grumpy Monkey? Is the monkey really grumpy? Or do all his friends try to tell him he's grumpy? Well, let's read together and find out. Are you the greatest popcorn kid crew? Let Miss V hear you say. I am the greatest. Yes, you are. And every single day, you are the greatest. Let's start off and give you some sugar wooga. And let's begin reading our story. You know, this is a New York Times bestseller. Has anyone ever told you that you were grumpy and you weren't grumpy? And they started telling you all these things you needed to do to help you from being grumpy? Well, that's what our friend here had to go through. His name is Jim. Let's find out what Jim's day was like. I think you're going to enjoy this book. It's a lot of fun. We are going to have fun reading this book today. I'll make sure you can see the pictures. One wonderful day, Jim Panzi woke up to discover that nothing was right. The sun was too bright, the sky was too blue, and the bananas were too sweet. Jim was confused. What's going on? Maybe you're grumpy, suggested Norman from next door. I'm not grumpy, Jim insisted. That's his friend Norman. See the gorilla? On his walk, he met Marabou. Jim's grumpy, Norman told Marabou. Why are you grumpy, Jim, asked Marabou. It's such a wonderful day. Grumpy? Me? I'm not grumpy, said Jim. But look at how you're standing, Marabou said. It's true, said Norman. You're all hunched. So Jim loosened up. Then he ran into Lamar. Jim's grumpy, told Lamar. Why are you grumpy, Jim, asked Lamar. It's such a wonderful day. Grumpy? Me? I'm not grumpy, said Jim. Your eyebrows look so grumpy, said Lamar. It's true, said Norman. They're all bunched up. So Jim raised his eyebrows. Oh my goodness, is everybody telling him what to do? Well, he's trying. Norman keeps on telling his friends that Jim is grumpy. Then he tripped over a snake. Oh, oh, oh no, said Norman. That's the last thing you need when you're feeling grumpy. Grumpy? Me? I am not grumpy, said Jim. Then why that frown, said Snake. I think it's because he tripped over you, Norman whispered to the snake. So Jim put on a smile. telling his friends he's not grumpy 
but Norman keeps on saying he is. Finally, Jim looked happy. <laughs> but he didn't feel happy inside. Oh, that's okay, Jim. Everyone wanted Jim to enjoy this wonderful day. You should sing with us, said the birds. Jim didn't feel like singing. You should swing with us, said the monkeys. Jim didn't feel like swinging. Maybe those are some things that make them happy. Jim didn't feel like doing that. You should roll with us, said the zebras. Jim didn't feel like rolling. You should stroll with us, said the peacocks. Jim didn't feel like strolling. You should lie in the grass. You should stomp your feet. Everybody's giving him suggestions on what he needs to do. Because Norman said he was grumpy. Norman, you should take a bath and make a splash. You should hug someone. You should laugh. You should take a nap. You should eat old meat or some honey. You should jump up and down. You should sit in the sun. You should dance. His friends are making all these suggestions of what he needs to do that will probably make him happy. Have you ever had a day like that where people thought you were grumpy and you weren't? But Jim didn't feel like doing any of that. Why are you grumpy? Jim asked the others. It's such a wonderful day. I'm not grumpy, shouted Jim as he beat his chest. Imagine him saying that. Look at all his friends. Look at all his friends. And he stormed off. He stormed off. What's gonna happen? Have you read this story before? What's gonna happen now, guys? Jim felt sorry. A little sorry for shouting at everyone but mostly sorry for himself. <sighs> I guess I am grumpy, Jim sighed. Oh, and just as he was starting to feel a little sad, oh no, Jim's feeling sad. Now he wasn't at first. He came upon Norman. Norman was slumped. His eyebrows were bunched up, and he was frowning. What's the matter? Are you grumpy? asked Jim. No, I dance with porcupine, said Norman. Oh, now Norman. Hmm, very interesting. I want you all to see. <laughs> he danced with porcupine. What's sticking out on the bottom? What is that? Oh my goodness. What kind of dance were they doing? Are you okay? asked Jim. It hurts, but... I'll probably feel better enough soon. 
said Norman. Are you still grumpy? Yes, said Jim, but I'll probably feel better soon enough too. For now, I need to be grumpy. It's a wonderful day to be grumpy, said Norman, and Jim agreed. Look at both of them sitting on a tree. I don't know if you can see it, but Norman has little band-aids on his bottom. Oh, this book is so cute. This book is so cute. And he already felt a little bit better. The end. You guys, what's so fun about Grumpy Monkey? is that you get to determine what your day is like. Don't I read a lot of books like this? You set your day and you determine how your day is going to be. Norman's walking around telling everybody that Grumpy Monkey is not happy and he was fine. And then all his friends believed Norman and they started giving suggestions on what he needed to do hilarious. Then Norman ended up getting porcupine bits in his bottom. Oh my gosh. That looked like that was painful. And he had to put band-aids on too. Grumpy Monkey is a fun story. Would you guys please subscribe, like, and share the Popcorn Kid channel? I think you would have so much fun. I want to dedicate some books to you guys. Just ask your parents or parents if you're watching. Go to the popcorn kit at gmail.com and I can arrange to dedicate a book for you in any special occasion. It's time to get a hug. Mm -mm. I send you peace and love, a kiss. Now, see you real soon. Peace and love, Popcorn Kit. Thank you for joining me.